Cassandra Knack from Austin, Minnesota. She's been missing since October 29th of this year. And this is Raquel Nurset from Brainerd, Minnesota, missing since October 31st. These two children are still missing from our area. Some of you here are parents today or will become, or maybe older siblings, which is why I want to inform you a little more in depth about Amber Alerts. Since choosing this topic, I've done quite a bit of research, and I've also watched a webinar by Derek Van Lucien, who is a consultant for the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, also known as NEC. Today I'm going to start by talking about how the Amber Alerts began, the qualifications, some tips to help if your child or someone near you is missing. And also, I will talk about how it has helped hundreds to have the Amber Alert implicated and a few success stories. Now that you've seen the realness of what it could be like to be missing somebody you know and know my credibility, I will move on to my first main point. Amber Alerts began in Arlington, Texas in 1996 when Amber Hagerman and her five-year-old brother were riding bicycles near a supermarket while she was abducted. Five days later, they found her body. Families across the country mourned for the Hagerman family. Diane Samoa was a massage therapist and local mother from Dallas. In an article written by Haley Barber with NBC News, Diane stated that she called the local broadcast stations the day Amber's body was found, asking if they could help with local law enforcement to somehow get the information out immediately following a child abduction. It was a call that would change hundreds of lives for years to come. Later that year, Dallas-Fort Worth broadcasters established coordinating systems with local law enforcement to warn the public when child abduction was in danger, and they called it an Amber Alert. After Amber Hagerman, it's also referred to as America's Missing Broadcast Emergency Response. There's some different qualifications to make it an Amber Alert. There must be reasonable belief by law enforcement that an abduction has occurred, the law enforcement agency believes that the child is in immediate danger and serious bodily injury or death. There is enough descriptive information about the victim and the abduction for law enforcement to issue an Amber Alert to assist in the recovery of the child. The child must be 17 years old or younger, and they must need the child's number and other, excuse me, name and other critical data elements, including the child abduction plan, have been entered into the National Crime Information Center system. Now that I've told you how it started and some qualifications, I'll move on to my second point. My second main point is gonna give you some tips if you are ever in the situation or someone you know is. According to the US Department of Justice Office of Justice Programs, you should immediately call your local police and the NCMEC, the National Crime for Missing and Exploited Children. The number is 1-800-THE-LAW. As of January 1st, 2013, automatically sent through the Wireless Emergency System Alerts WEA program, millions of cell phone users will receive messages when there's a child abduction. They have formed child abduction response teams called CART. They are trained to help. Once you discover that your child is missing, you will desperately want to help with the search. You may in fact wonder how you possibly can stand by and let others look for your child. But the reality is that in most instances, the best use of your energy is not the physical search itself. You need to be home to provide answers, to answer questions to investigators and stay home in case your child comes back. You should search your house and your neighborhood. Your neighbors should search their yards and outbuildings. There has been cases where children have been hiding in closets and have fallen asleep. There was a case where a child went into a neighbor's well and they were searching farther out <coughs> and missed him and they didn't make it in time. Now that you know how Amber Alerts began, 
and what to do if you're ever in this situation. My last point is the results of the implications of the Amber Alert. Amber Alerts have helped in many cases. As of August 1st, 2016, Amber Alerts have helped rescue and safely return 830 children. Some media has helped to resolve and recover 98.5% of an Amber Alert since 2005. Of 1,451 Amber notifications from 2005 to 2009, 1,430 children have been found. The U.S. Department of Justice stated Amber Alerts serve as deterrence to those who prey upon children. Some predators release children after hearing the Amber Alert. By June 30th of this year, more than 18,700 law enforcement offices and dispatchers have been trained through web-based courses offered by Amber Alert training and technical assistance program. They are the ones out looking for your child. Now I will share some success stories that I read on the NCMEC website. On May 25th, 2015, in Fort Worth, Texas, a nine-year-old girl did not return home after a sleepover. They suspected she was with her uncle and that she was in grave danger. An Amber Alert was issued and there was tips in another state. They chased the person down, they exchanged gunfire, and they killed the abductor. And the child was rescued safely. In December 2nd of 2005, in South Carolina, following a violent domestic dispute, a three-year-old boy was abducted by his non-custodial father. They issued an Amber Alert, and within hours, there was multiple tips of vehicle sightings. There were multiple transportation signs up, cell phone alerts, and they were able to pull over the vehicle after he had lost control. He started to flee. Once the officers cornered him, he used the, chill, the child as a shield, but they were able to kill the abductor and the child was safely recovered. Now that I've had told you a few success stories, I wanna conclude by restating my three main points I spoke about and answer a few questions. Today I informed you about how the Amber Alert began and the qualifications, some tips if you're ever in this situation, and the good that the Amber Alert has brought. Hundreds of children go missing every day. Please be prepared if it is ever one of yours.